All right, here's our call for today. We have an AEPF 313716AA, made in 2009. It's a Goodman variable speed air handler that has a bad variable speed control board. And we've been having some trouble with this unit for a while, and this may be one of the root causes of it. Uh, the problem with it is that on the uh, Y signal to the condenser, it's sending out 17 volts instead of 24. Well, the problem with that is that it's not making the contactor and when we get downstairs I'll show you some of the problems it has caused but for right now we're going to change out the board and uh, there's just all the connectors and the fuse up the top in case there's a short and the low voltage circuit the dip switches you set what tonnage and things like that for the outdoor unit and what CFM but uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch this out then we're going to take a look downstairs and I'll show you what happened well, what I like to do is uh, when I secure the new board on there I like to leave the old one hooked up as long as they're, that's you know physically possible, so I can take one wire off at a time and connect them. I like doing that so I don't you know mix anything up by accident. Or uh, a lot of them are color coded, but sometimes it's not. Like sometimes I, I reuse this purple wire uh, where there once was a red because uh, this wasn't made at the factory correctly, so I had to use the purple wire that actually comes with it for humidistat. So <clears throat> that's what I did there. So just a little thing that I like to do, just so I don't get mixed up. Because no matter how many times you've done this, sometimes something's not quite the same as before, or you move a little bit too fast and forget which one was which, or something like that. So that's what I like to do. Alright, now that the new board is in, I'm going to put the power back on the air handler, leave it off to the condenser, and turn it on in heat to see what kind of signal it's sending to the condenser. Alright, this is our SSZ14030, which is a 14 sear Goodman unit. Uh, when it's matched up with that variable speed air handler with a TXV valve, it becomes a 15 series system. Uh, that's the idea here. There was a tax credit a couple years ago, and that's why this was installed. All right, you can see some of the stuff that's been put into it since then. Uh, on the top, the defrost board was changed twice. Uh, the first time it was defective from the factory, believe it or not. The second time, the fan relay right there was blown up. <clears throat> and I'll get to why I think that happened. On the side here is a defrost time delay. Uh, in the 2009 model year Goodman, the reversing valves were crap and they would stick all the time. In fact, they had just tons and tons of them sticking there, paying people to change them out. It was so bad. I, in fact, changed out a couple of them myself. So uh, when I heard that this unit was clanging, which was a description the homeowner was given to me, uh, I knew that they had given away these defrost boards at the time when this was going on, so I decided that I would go get one because uh, I had a strong feeling that was something to do with it because there's a lot of problems with these things. So I went ahead and installed that so basically the compressor cuts out before the reversing valve changes to cooling and defrost so it doesn't get jammed up uh, by the refrigerant pressure. Uh, the contactor was changed out because it was destroyed. Uh, <clears throat> a hard start was necessary to get it started. I was having a difficult time starting. And what I found is that once we traced it back to that blower board on the inside, we weren't getting the right amount of voltage. We were getting 17 volts to the contactor um, after everything was done here. So we had 17 volts, which was making the contactor sometimes. So it would make and then release, and make and release, and in rapid succession, it probably sounded a whole lot like that chatter from a reversing valve that's jammed up. So uh, <clears throat> it just masqueraded as that problem, which was very prominent. So you would be drawn to think it was, in fact, the reversing valve when it was not. Uh, of course, if you were here when it happened, you could put the gauges on and see that it was not. Or uh, if you're close enough, you could just tell from physically watching the uh, contact. So in fact, and in fact, whenever I added the defrost time delay, the voltage might have dropped just enough, so it was just going on and off. I mean, it was crazy. It was it would make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. It would stick for a little while and let go. So what I did was I got a new board, sent out a proper amount of voltage. Uh, so we could have things going constantly the way they're supposed to be. It took off just fine this time. I'm going to go ahead and put it into cool because I have my doubts about all these 2009 systems. Uh, the reversing valves. I just want to double check and see. But that's kind of the overview of uh, how we went about finding the problem. There's a sneaky little problem. Uh, it's atypical, I hope, from the variable speed blower board. Alright, I set it into cool. What I wanted to see is, just like it would during defrost, if it uh, <clears throat> if the compressor shut down for 20 seconds, the pressure was able to equalize a little bit, 
and then it switched into cool. Is the valve getting stuck? And so let's go take a look and see what it looks like before it shuts off. Well, I'm happy to say that it came on like a champ. I didn't even hear it come on, which is pretty good for Goodman. And everything's running fine. So I'm a happy camper. Maybe a lot of these, a lot of nuisance service calls over the years were all caused by this sort of voltage problem from this board. And we might be done with it, which I'd be happy with. Uh, like a happy customer, so we'll see. And I've heard a lot of discussion while we're talking about it about Goodman air conditioning, uh, bad or good or whatever you want to say. Uh, and of late, I've heard people say that Goodmans are better of late. Well, this model, although it's not as good, we'll say, but over the last couple years, I've been pretty happy with them. Uh, since they switched to aluminum coils, they've been pretty good. This 2009 series R410A stuff, it's it, it was pretty crappy. But we'll hope for better things.